All right, so this laptop was having issues with the um, keyboard backlight. So if I were to press function and this, like nothing happens. So what we're gonna do, um, this is a Samsung laptop. So this happens on Samsung laptops. It's kind of weird. So let me show, uh, I'm gonna have to flip this over because it's upside down. But anyways, you got the model number here. So, NP740U5L-Y02US, all right. So let me flip this over here, sorry. All right, so what you're gonna do is you wanna go to the store. So I go to the start menu here. You just press the little flag button and then you type in the word store. Then you go to, so I type store down there and you go to the Microsoft store here, okay. Then what you're going to want is to search in this bar up here. So you click the little search thing and you search for Samsung. Okay. Then what you want is this Samsung update. So download that. Okay. It's going to have like a download button here. I already downloaded it. So there's a launch button now. So we'll launch that. It opens this. You're going to have this little window and you're going to have to type in your model number here. So after I typed in the model number here, it gives me the um, oops, I don't want to. Okay, um, and then you'll. It says what version of Windows 10 are you running? So you're gonna have to manually select which version of Windows 10. I just choose the newest one because I updated everything. And then if you want, you can update everything. So I'm gonna choose the Intel ME chipset, sound driver. It's most likely not gonna need any of these. Um, the main one that we need. Let me expand this. The main one that we need, well, let's go ahead and like just download all of these anyways. Actually, I'm gonna uncheck them all because I think it already updated. The main one you need is this Samsung Settings app, okay? So Samsung Settings, you don't really need any of this other junk. You can put them if you want. Um, I might do them anyways just to see, but uh, these updates are probably, these might be like old versions of drivers. So I might leave them. We might need the, Let's see here, motion sensor, because I think this one, it detects if the screen, if the computer's rotating. But anyways, actually, let me just, I'm just gonna do them all anyways. We don't need the theme. Okay, we probably don't need the DPI configuration, but whatever. Um, you can get all this color profile, filter drivers, all of these, virtual button driver, wireless LAN, local area network. It might actually be easier to check them all. So I'm just gonna push the check all button and then I'm gonna go through and remove the garbage. So, okay, let's go ahead and remove this online support thing. Consulting mode touchpad driver, I guess we'll leave that. We don't need McAfee. Consulting mode driver. I don't know what some of these drivers are. Sorry, I'm getting messages, so it's gonna keep beeping. But uh, yeah, the main one is remove the McAfee because you don't need that junk, okay? Everything else looks good. All right, we can remove the McAfee and whatever this online support service. Uh, you can probably even leave that if you want. All right, and then I'm gonna click download here, 1.57 gigs. Let's click download, it's in progress. I'm gonna let it go and then I'll show you what happens when it's done downloading. Let me see if this will show the percentage. Oh, here you go. So you can push that up arrow and you can see how quickly it's downloading everything. But anyways, I'll let those all download and then I will be back in a bit. All right, so after the files all downloaded, it opens up this folder in the user account, downloads, and then the Samsung update folder. So here you can see all these drivers now and then you can go through and install them. I don't know if this system software file will do it okay that just opens the Samsung update so I don't need to do anything with that so let's go ahead and look for the file we were looking for which is the Samsung settings so here's Samsung settings we'll open that we're gonna click the installer here and we're gonna install this and see how it goes all right so we click that we'll let it run let me see if other things are going okay there's also this installation thing going We'll just let that run. I was clicking all the little icons down there. Sorry, it's hard to kind of hold this and show everything. So, let's see what happens. I think we can close this now. 
Oh, you can actually choose the download path here. So it is just going to the user downloads folder, but you can change it to whatever you want. I'm gonna close that. Oops, I need to stop those notifications. But uh, we installed that settings thing. Let's see if it's in there. So when I go to the start menu and type settings, here you see Samsung settings is showing up now. Uh, most likely we have to restart the computer. So I'm going to restart the computer and we'll see if that solves the uh, issue. So start menu, power button, restart. Okay, if that doesn't solve the issue, then I will have to figure out what else is going on. And we'll see. So I'm going to let the computer restart and I'll be back. Okay, so now let me show you. Um, we don't have to open the Samsung settings, but you can see here it was recently added. And if I hold the function key here and then I press the keyboard backlight key, which is this one. So if I push that, now you see on the screen, keyboard backlight high, off, low, medium, high. All right. And you can see here. So it's off right now, it slowly fades out, okay? Now it's on low setting, now it's on medium setting, now it's on high setting. All right, so that looks like it fixed the problem. Looks like we're good to go. Um, and let's see, the brightness stuff works. I don't know what this uh, function setting one, okay. So now when you push the little gear icon, it actually pops up settings, the Samsung settings here. And then you have all these little options that you can change. Um, but that's pretty much it. It looks like we don't need any of the other drivers. Um, actually, let me see if folding this back works and if it rotates. Sorry, I'm going to have to hold the phone in weird angles. I rotated it side. Oops, I think I accidentally pushed the power button when I did that. Let's turn it back on. Okay, okay, so it is rotating, so we don't need the other driver. If I rotate this. There you go, so it's auto-rotating. So we don't need any of the other drivers. Um, it looks like the main one was just that Samsung setting. The rest was pretty much done through Windows updates and looks good. Let's open up the downloads. We can check here, Samsung, oops, sorry, Samsung update. You can see all these other drivers. Usually I would go in the device manager just to check. Everything looks good here. All right, if you want the um, Samsung direct drivers, then you can go ahead and install all of these but they shouldn't be needed. Um, I'll leave them there just in case the customer um, finds any issues with how the computer runs. If it has issues, then I will go ahead and see what they need here. Um, the only one I can think that maybe would be needed is the NVIDIA graphics, but usually the new drivers and possibly the chipset driver might be needed. But other than the graphics, I guess graphics, NVIDIA, and chipset. If you have any weird issues with your computer, try those. But other than that, um, oh yeah, maybe also the motion sensor. Okay, but that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, share my channel with others. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Okay, so one thing I found that makes this process a little bit easier, sorry, um, but anyways, if you open downloads, you want to make sure that the Samsung update is closed so that when you click the system software here, okay, so you can actually tell it to automatically install the drivers. Um, I skipped that. There was a pop-up that said if you check it, it will automatically install, but here you can see um, now that you open, it shows all the stuff that you um, downloaded and then it will show what's installed and what you can install so here you can see I have drivers that are already up to date and then it shows the other ones that aren't up to date that you can click to install so if you want you can install the LAN driver just by clicking that okay rapid storage driver you can click that multi-memory card reader so just like that depending on your computer it will be different uh, what's available but here you go I'm just gonna click all of these okay so there you go and you can decide what you feel is important. Again, we'll do the LAN driver. I don't know why it disappeared. I don't really care about these other drivers. They're not really for the hardware. So shouldn't really be needed. If you want, you can install them, but I'm just going to leave them out. All right, there you go. So again, hopefully this video helped you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.